tonight, Coyne wants to know how much of a problem is created by fake service dogs. They have real looking vests and badges, but they're not trained. Tonight, there's a new plan to stop them. Our Chris Woodard is finding out how. Here at Northwest Battle Buddies, they spend six to eight months training their dogs and use vests like this to identify them. So they've got a big problem with people who use vests and are faking it. Ruger kind of became the glue that kept our family together. For Army veteran John Kaiser, a service dog provides a better life. It takes away anxiety. I can go out in public now and it doesn't bother me before I'd be super alert, on edge, hyper vigilant. But their life is one challenged by frauds, fake service dogs. It seems like it's getting worse. Now a California group wants the U.S. Department of Justice to crack down on the sale of fake service dog products. I looked into just how easy service dog gear is to buy. A simple online search provides dozens of results. $25 for an ID card. The seller making it clear they require no proof. $20 for a reflective vest. $25 for an ID badge where they warn misrepresenting a service animal is a crime. But all they can do is warn. I do think that they need to do something. Shannon Walker, who trains dogs for combat veterans in battleground, says new rules, like a crackdown on gear, are a slippery slope. The concern is making it harder to purchase or more expensive for people with legitimate service dogs. But I don't think we need more bureaucracy in it. Right now, Oregon lawmakers are also trying to make changes. I found this House bill that would require local governments to issue official certificates to train service dog owners, then allow restaurant employees to ask to see those certificates. Walker has some big concerns about this plan as well. We've got to find a way to create accountability without tying the hands of the quality organizations that are trying to get the dogs out there to the people that need them. The only agreement? There is no easy answer, but something needs to be done. In Battleground, Chris Woodard, COIN 6 News.